Hey Cougars, welcome back to campus. I'm Jordan Beasley. And I'm Danielle Ritchie, and this is the Back to School episode of RNN. Today's newscast will feature school reopening up protocols, the new schedule going forward, safety protocols, sports events, and other events going on for the past few weeks. With our school reopening today, a new schedule and new protocols will be made in order to keep everyone safe as we transition back to in-person learning. Upon returning to campus, students that signed up for in-person learning will need to check in at one of the three check-in centers located on site to have temperatures checked and to be logged into the system. If you are not checked in by attending class, you will be directly sent into one of these check-in centers. Here's a quick breakdown from ASB. First, you're going to want to open your Safe to Speak Up app and sign in with SSO. Once you've done that, you're going to want to sign in using your school email. Then you click any necessary buttons to go back to the Safe to Speak Up app. Once your screen looks like this, you can click I Pass and click on to report pre-visit self-certification for check-in. Then you read through each question and answer. Once you finish answering all the questions, you can submit and wait for the QR code to pop up. Once the QR code pops up, you walk in front of the tablet and scan it. Hello. Do you have your Safe to Speak Up app ready? I do. I have my questions right here. I have not been sick, so none of the above. And I have not came in contact with anyone suspected to have COVID-19 in the last 14 days. And I will be on campus today. Submit. Perfect. Please come this way. I have my QR code ready. I scan my QR code. And it reads that I'm here. Okay. And now yeah. I walk through so I can get my temperature taken. Thank you. Hello. Hi. I can check you in. <laughs> okay. You are checked in for the day. All right. Thank you. Please, Rancho, make sure that anything covering your forehead comes off. I'm trying to give back up because we did switch from the hybrid. And, I need to video and there you go. Okay. As long as they said that your temperature is clear, you can go through. And you let them know why you're here. With that being said, welcome, welcome back, back to, to Hybrid Rancho. Students who have not signed up for Hybrid cannot expect to attend in-person classes, as there will be no room for them in class. They can email their counselor if they want to get on the wait list for Hybrid Learning. Once on campus, Students will be required to wear masks and maintain social distancing guidelines that are outlined by the school district and the county. Also, all buildings and classrooms are now equipped with sanitizing stations for staff and student use. With the option to return in person today, a new schedule is being put into place. For students that have signed up to attend school in person, a four-day week of in-person learning will be available. Students may attend class on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8.30 to 11.40. Wednesdays will be online for everyone. You will be welcome to attend any of those four days in person, or you may stay at home on any given day needed by utilizing the online learning option. Students who are choosing to utilize distance learning for the remainder of the school year will continue to attend our Google Meet sessions, but with the new classes that we just highlighted from 8.30 to 11.40 on a daily basis. With new schedules out of the way, let's go to sports. That's right, sports are back, and students are able to compete once again. Although seasons are heavily impacted by the pandemic, it is great to see our student athletes competing once again, and we're really grateful that our senior athletes are able to get to the fields and courts once again. 
While fans and spectators are still under safety restrictions in regards to attending these events in person, the advanced film and broadcast class at Rancho is working hard to bring as many of these events to our own YouTube channel as possible. Each varsity sport will be receiving either live coverage or will be posted after the event, so keep your eye out for those games. With sports coming back, we also have our ASB coming in strong the past few weeks with the Step Up Rally and Talent Show. The Step Up Rally is used to symbolize our seniors leaving high school and other grades moving up. It is a big moment for all Cougars and we are overjoyed to still be able to celebrate this event with the virtual rally. And congratulations to our Talent Show Top 3. We had Andy as the third with his magic show. Julie Fawn is second with her piano performance. And Ronnie Nielsen in first with a stunning singing performance. vision softly creeping Left its seat while I was sleeping Congratulations, Cougars. Hey Cougars, if you're interested in trying out for the Rancho Cheer Team, please join the RCHS Cheer Tryouts Google Classroom for all tryout information and program policies. All codes for Google Classroom are listed in our Instagram bio or you can email ranchocheer at yahoo.com. Rancho Cheer is a great way to get involved in the school, make friends, challenge your mind and body, and have fun and be a part of an athletic team. No experience is needed to try out. If you have a positive and hardworking attitude, then come try out to be a part of our team. Grab your friends and join us at tryouts starting the week of May 10th. See you soon, Cougars! And finally, graduation plans are still underway, but we would love to report on the specifics. Seniors will have to stay tuned for updates in the coming weeks. This about wraps up this episode of RNN. We'll see you next time for our final episode of the school year. And remember, have a great rest of your week. Have a great rest of your week.